Hello everyone, I'm Rashi Chahal, Clinical Dietitian at Rosewalk Hospital and with me today I have Senior Most Gynecologist Dr. Lavlina Nadir. Hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about lactose intolerance. You know, a lot of people believe they have lactose intolerance but let us find out from the experts that what is really lactose intolerance. Okay, so lactose intolerance is when a person develops symptoms due to the decreased ability to digest lactose which is found in the dairy products. That's known as lactose intolerance. So now what are the symptoms and how do we really get it? So what is the reason behind getting lactose intolerance? So what happens is that there is a sugar lactose which is present in the dairy products. And this lactose when it goes to small intestine, it breaks into glucose and galactose. And this is done by an enzyme known as lactase dehydrogenase. But in some individuals, this enzyme lactase dehydrogenase is not there. So lactose is not broken down into glucose and galactose and it is directly passed on to large intestine causing symptoms like gas, gurgling sound, bloating, discomfort and all that. So everybody who is suffering from these uh, uh, symptoms can they believe that they are lactose intolerant? Would it be fair for us to say that? No. So Rashi, there are two things. One is lactose intolerance and another one is lactose malabsorption. So lactose intolerance is when a person cannot tolerate anything, any amount of lactose. For example, milk has 5% lactose, ice cream has 8%, butter has 1%. A cheese has got 3%, yogurt or dahi has got 4%. So if somebody cannot even tolerate butter or dahi, uh, you know, which is very less amount of lactose, then it is lactose intolerance. But lactose malabsorption on the other hand is the quantitative thing. Now, generally 15 grams is what we call, uh, we take it as a cutoff. So if somebody cannot tolerate 15 grams in all of lactose then it is malabsorption but in case they eat other foods along with so much lactose load then of course the symptoms decrease. So a lot of people you know when they believe that you know you, they are lactose intolerant but they are okay eating curd and they are okay eating cottage cheese so that now let's correct that because that means you are not lactose intolerant but that means your your lactose is being malabsorbed in correct. your body. Correct. Absolutely. So for the people who are lactose intolerant, you know, you don't need to really feel bad about yourself that, you know, we can't have milk in our product, uh, in our diet because you have alternate milk products that are available in the market these days. So we have oat milk, we have soy milk, we have almond milk, coconut milk, cashew nut milk and soon we'll also have quinoa milk available in our market. So all these uh, different kind of milks give you anything between from 0 to 7 grams of protein and also gives you about fair, fair good amount of calories about 60 to 130 calories max so they eat depending on which one you're choosing out of and it. they don't have lactose in they're the absolutely lactose free ma'am so that is why it becomes very convenient for everyone else to increase i hope you find this uh, clipping very informative and you can bring it to use if you have more questions or doubts please put it put them down in the comment box thank you bye